Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. Today's video we're featuring me and Mingus. You can sort of see who's getting kind of frisky hanging out on the table here. Um, I want to discuss something I've been asked a lot about. You know, you, you've got a cat that has diarrhea. The first question is, is there anything I can give at home? Do I need to see my veterinarian? So the, so the first big thing, regardless of you know, whether you're going to see your veterinarian or not, is you, know, you just being comfortable with assessing, you know, is your cat seriously ill or not? And can this wait or not? The big principle is, you know, one, is your cat clinically dehydrated or not? My big concern, and are they kind of alert? Is he still, or he or she still active? You know, kind of like Mingus is running around. If your cat has just eaten something mild, for instance, say part of a plant, that, or some type of food he's not normally used to eating, something off your kitchen floor, he might just have, you know, a 24 hour period of diarrhea and then it's gonna pass. But he or she is still gonna be fairly active like Mingus is. They're still gonna be drinking fluid, they're still gonna be consuming water. And the one thing I want you to be able to do is just assess their hydration or not. Are they dehydrated or not? So the way I would do that here on Mingus is two things. First of all, just visually looking at him. His eyes are kind of full, sticking out. His coat is nice and shiny. That's a sign of a cat that's normally hydrated. Secondly, too, I would do a thing called a skin tent, where I grab the skin up here between his shoulder blades. I turn it and see how it bounces back right away. When that happens, you've got a cat that's normally hydrated. He's not dehydrated. The last thing I would do is open his lips. I'm gonna sort of hope he'll let me do it here. We're gonna open his lips, we're gonna look at his gums, and when I touch them, they're very moist. They're also a nice bright pink color, which they, and that's how they should normally be. So those are the three big markers for a normally hydrated cat which you are Mangus, which tells me that he's not clinically sick uh, to the point that we could consider some of the home remedies. First thing, you know, people ask, you know, what do I do first? Um, so we're going on the premise that this isn't a long-term thing, it's a short-term thing. Your cat is generally clinic clinically okay. If they're lethargic, seemingly very ill, go see your veterinarian. So the first big principle is, you know, where you're offering lots of fresh water, you're gonna pull away their dry food, um, and if you're gonna do anything, we're just gonna we're gonna hold off on offering them any food for a 12-hour period. Then, when you do go out, do go on to offer them a bit of food, it's gonna be a little, just a small portion of a, a pretty benign, bland canned food of a food that they've been on before. Because we're going on the premise they've eaten something that's upset their stomach. The premise is just resting their intestinal tract giving that time to heal, and then offering them a little bit of food, always have free access uh, to fresh water. So for a lot of guys, just a 12 hour rest of putting food into their system is enough to have the inflammatory cells sort of die down, the stool can firm up and they get back to normal. The second thing you could look at giving is a real simple homeopathic. Um, this is one here, it's called Arsenicum 30C of all the different homeopathics that I discuss, this is the one I've seen be most effective. And it's as simple as just giving your cat, such as Mangus who's hopping by here, just one of these capsules, and they get in an acute situation, it can be given every two to four hours, and you're just gonna, gonna give it for two or three days. Works really well uh, for our animals that have eaten something they shouldn't have, also known as garbage gut. Third, I really think any cat that has diarrhea, regardless whether it's a short term or long term, can really benefit from the additional probiotics. So that can mean a couple different ways. So the probiotics are those good bacteria that colonize the stomach, the intestinal tract. And one, your cat, for instance, could have been on an antibiotic. That can upset the balance of bacteria, leading to diarrhea. So one, you want to primarily supplement, there's two specific probiotics. One is Lactobacillus acidophilus. The second one is a Bifidobacterium. They're the more common ones uh, that have been studied that show the most benefits for cats with diarrhea. So we're looking at a Lactobacillus dose of about 100 million CFUs. Uh, that's colony form units per 10 pounds of body weight, um, given once or twice daily. 
There's a veterinary one called 40 Flora made by Purina, but really you can get any good probiotic going, going to any natural health store. And it may mean if your cat has diarrhea, he's not taking anything in orally. You might have to mix it up in a little syringe, in a little bit of water and some fluid, draw it up into a little syringe, and then squirt it into his mouth. Fourth, you can consider uh, an anti-diarrheal, very short term, uh, called loperamide, which is what I have here. Uh, I just plopped this out of my first aid kit. So it's also known, sold under the brand name Emodium. Um, it's something you don't want to use no more than for two days, so it's not meant as a long-term thing. We're looking at a cat dose of 0.5 of a milligram, so it'd be, come on you. So for Mingus here, well, he'd be getting about a quarter of one of these tablets. I'll show you them there. You can see the tablet there. So he'd be getting a quarter of that tablet twice a day, meant for no more than two days. Uh, it's generally fairly helpful for these guys for a short-term diarrhea, and generally quite safe given short-term. Just trying to position myself so you can actually see Mingus as well. Hello, pretty pretty. The fifth thing I want to discuss is a more natural type remedy using this one, it's diatomaceous earth. Um, so it's being used in our animals that have diarrhea for a couple different situations. One, we're giving it, you know, say acutely your cat has eaten something they shouldn't have. So he's got this foreign substance, he has a bit of bacon or something in his intestinal tract. The diatomaceous earth does a really good job of binding to whatever's there and, you know, preventing that from being absorbed, causing the inflammation, and moving it out of the intestinal tract so the diarrhea can end. Um, secondly, too, uh, it seems to work really well in terms of also just absorbing some of that fluid that's present. So in some of the cases of diarrhea, you have all this inflammation within the intestinal tract, it's producing all that fluid, hence the diarrhea. It's a real more natural way to treat it. So you've got to make sure it's this diatomaceous earth here that is food grade, for meant for people and pets. And we're looking, you know, a human dose is about a teaspoon given two to three times a day. So for our cats, you'd be looking about a quarter of a teaspoon. So you should be able to see it in there. It's that fine white powder. And what I would do is just take a quarter of a teaspoon, um, mix that up in a couple tablespoons of water, mix it up and, you know, I'll draw that up into like this three, this this syringe, and then just squirt that in. And you could be giving that two to three times a day uh, as another more natural alternative tri type treatment for diarrhea. The last thing I want to discuss was are cats that have more chronic diarrhea, um, also known as inflammatory bowel disease. And that's one uh, can be a really frustrating condition to treat. It can be primary vomiting, it can be vomiting and or diarrhea. And I just want to make a couple points to that and just sort of add in one new potential treatment for it. So first of all, we don't know why, but for whatever reason, the intestinal tract um, reacts with all these immune cells. Uh, perhaps it could be just to what your cat had been eating, producing all this inflammation leading to vomiting and or diarrhea. Unfortunately, some of the traditional veterinary treatments involving a steroid that's given injectable or orally that suppresses the overactive immune response. So a couple of things you can consider doing if you've yet to do so. First of all, really look at doing a specific type diet where you're one, eliminating all carbohydrates, getting your cat on 100% animal protein food. Um, you can be looking at just a specific, really good quality canned cat food. And the second thing to consider, which some new research has shown, and they're, they're treating IBD in people this way, is looking at supplementing with an amino acid called, called tryptophan. And that's the specific amino acid which is found in fairly high concentrations in meat. But you can actually get it, L-tryptophan is a supplement. And what they're finding is it, it's decreasing the immune response, it's lowering the number of inflammatory cells within the intestinal tract, and it could lead to less vomiting, less diarrhea. It may be a more natural way to treat it than using a steroid. So you're looking at a tryptophan dose of about, for a cat, it'd be about 100 milligrams of tryptophan, uh, given twice daily, something you could give, you know, 30 to 60 days, very safe, no real, real secondary side effects. And by all means, discuss that with, with your veterinarian. Um, lastly, under this, under the video here, I'm gonna 
produce a link, I'll show you a link that links to some of the studies that talk about using tryptophan for IBD. Thanks again, you guys, for watching this edition of Energy Secrets. A couple things, thanks Mangus for hanging out and being my model cat. If you've yet to do so, click up there to subscribe to our channel, click down there to like this video, click further down there, and then when you do that and you sign up for my newsletter, I can send you my free books and my free videos on how to heal your cats at home with my top natural remedies. Thanks, Mangus.